That would definitely be helpful. Golly, I'll tell you what, one of these days. Professional show. All right. Oh, we are alive. Go! Greetings, humans. Greetings. And welcome back to another fun-filled episode of Barrier. 29-year veteran of the woods, and today, I tell you what, people, uh, you know, beer, beer does a lot of thinking. You wouldn't, you wouldn't suspect that beer doing a lot of thinking, but beer's been doing a lot of thinking, you know, trying to figure out a, a lot about you guys. Uh, how do we make uh, the show better? How do we do things? How do we improve things? Yada, yada, yada. So, um, uh, this might actually be up to the chat tonight. Uh, great to see Amy. Probably Melissa out there as well. A P money as well. 801 on time and late bear. I, oh, for crying out loud. Uh, here, I'll show you. I'll show you here. Uh, bear was busy. Uh, you know, just busy kind of setting up for tonight here. But uh, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, so we have a multitude. A multitude of options here, people. Um... Uh, they just came out with the new... Let me see if I can find that here. The new Jawbreakers? Uh, they've got a new Jawbreakers out, so Beer was kind of thinking, ah, oh, maybe we could do a... Like a campaign review, maybe? I don't know. Uh, no, not of, not of that. Congratulations, I believe. Congratulations, I believe. Uh, where was this? Um, one second here. Oh, God, why did it go all the way down? Ah, for crying out loud, OBS! <sighs> Oh, BS out there. So, uh, maybe do a, um, a, a campaign review. We've got that going on. And we've got the old, you know, the, the traditional news stuff that Bear normally does. Why does it go all the way to the top? OBS! God dang it. Uh, we've got the news out there for you good people. Uh, if you want to check that out. Or, or we could do, uh, Bear really needs to get into, I tell you people, Bear has been trying to do... The, um, I need to get back to the local library. We had some incidents at the local library there, kind of held off for a little bit. But I tell you what, a Bear, Bear really needs to get into the kind of the, figuring out what to do. So Bear literally has bags and boxes, bags and boxes of, um, uh, books out here for you good people. So, I, uh, we can go through those and reminisce, reminisce of, from the past from the past there, so, uh, I don't know, we will, uh, shall, I don't know, shall we make this, shall we make this a poll, let's figure it out, so, um, let's see, add reaction, no, I don't want to add that, okay, so, let's see, engage, start a poll, uh, why, why is it only yes or no, god, god dang it, um, uh, uh well, okay, we'll just do this, uh, Library books? Question mark? So, uh, there we go. There we go. There is the... Uh-oh, where did it go? Ah, there we go. Library books. Question mark out there for you good people. So, we will... We will find out from the chat whether or not they want to, um... Uh, where they want the show to head here, people. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, just kind of thinking, just kind of... Out there thinking, you know, okay, how do we make the... How do we make the uh, show a little bit better here? So, uh, let me see. Uh, no, I don't want to close the poll. Just get it out of the way. Gosh dang it. One of these days, people. Uh, I don't know. Do I vote? I'm going to vote. There we go. Uh-oh, what happened? Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Uh, well, uh, professional show, people. This is how we do it. This is how... Uh-oh, what happened? Uh-oh, for crying out loud. Oh, no, it didn't. Ah, oh, for crap. Uh, okay, let me get off of this, get back to the thing. Uh, well, this is how you get a show started. Any Saturday afternoon. I hope everybody's doing well out there. Beer, barely hanging in there. Barely, barely hanging in there. Here. All right, let me do the thing with the thing here. Let me get back. Hopefully it'll work. Let's see, do the thing. Okay, will it work? Oh, for crying out loud, really? Uh, okay, uh, let's see, how do we do this? Um, how do we do this without showing? This is gonna be hard. Uh, okay, well, we're just gonna, we're just gonna look at the chat this evening here. Oh, for crying out loud. Wow, it's so far 100% says yes. All right, well, we will go, we'll go with that. Unfortunately, gosh dang it, I tell you people, let's see, um... 
Let's let's try this. Hold on one second, people. Let Beer try to figure this out. Talk, talk amongst your shells. Let's see. Okay, let's see if this will work. Let's see that. Do the thing with the thing. The thing. Let's see if it works. You never know. Until you find out. We'll find out together here for you. Ah, thank God. Okay, there we are. There we go. I just had to re... I just completely redoing everything. So, um, no biggie. No biggie. Starting off the show. Screwing everything up. Oh, it needs to be there. Okay. Let me do... Thank you. Oh, yes! Trying to be a professional streamer here. Instead of looking like a fool. Looking like a fool out here. Okay, anyways, uh, Peed Money says I returned to my home province, whatever that might be, uh, tomorrow, both excited and nervous. I uh, should be excited. Should be excited. Head back home. Be able to sleep. Sleep in your own bed. Be able to hang out that way. So there you are. Uh, I still have no idea how to get rid of this on the on the screen here. All right, let's see. Uh, I might have to exit the poll. Oh, gosh darn it. Well, uh, let's see. With 67% uh, of the vote, uh, who was our one laggard out here? Gosh dang it. The one laggard that wants Bear to do something else. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do, uh, do some, uh, let me, let me get some stuff going here. Let me, um, uh, grab some books here. One second, people. Talk amongst your shells. Oh, I gotta turn on some lights, too. Oh, that would help. Lights. Camera. Not so much action from Bear. One of these days. One of these days a professional show. Oh. Alright, that one's on. Let's see. This one's on. Bear should just get like a clapper, you know, clap on, clap off, do something like that there. Anywho, anywho, all right, people, all right, let's get right to it. Let me find, let me find where we're at here. Gosh dang it, it always goes to the top. All right, there we are. Hello, people. Ah, let me get rid of, let me get rid of this for uno momento. There we go. Hello, people. Uh, so anyways, we were talking last last time, uh, uh, comics that Bear uh, had gotten when uh, uh, he was a little cub, uh, basically like, like the Calvin and Hobbes stuff here. There we go, good stuff there. There we go, there's some more as well. Maybe some Garfield or something like that. That was the gist of Bear's uh, comic experience here. So, you know, stuff like Fiendish, uh, other stuff like that. A little bit uh, uh, out of Bear's... A little bit of out of Bear's realm initially, uh, you know, kind of got started just listening into Comic Skate and everything, and um, uh, uh, figuring out how things worked, uh, just based on the reactions and uh, back and forth between people there. So, uh, uh, anyways, anyways, I uh, basically went from where are we? There we are. Basically went from this guy to uh, uh, to all the new books out there. So let's go ahead. Uh, let's get let's get to bag number one here. Bag number one. Ah, good to see Eric here. He says he owns both of the books. Ah, awesome. Hey, great, great stuff out there from uh, Bill Watterson. Except for he is a hermit and you never see him. Never see him around or anything like that. So it's not like you can go to a, a, a comics convention. Hey, Bill, uh, can you sign my book here? Uh, no, no, he's not. Not anywhere around. But anyways, anyways, let's get to it, people. Let's get right on to it because we got... Oh my God, this is so heavy. We got some books to give away. Oh, there we go. All right. There we are, people. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, let me get the bag. Let me get the freaking bag out of the way here. Oh, my God. So heavy. Oh. Oof. All right. Uh, box. Box numero uno, people. Can we see that? There we go. Ah, there we are. There we are. Uh, let's, let's see what's inside here. Actually, let me get the chat back up here for you, people. There we are. I, I'm gonna get rid of the poll here, people. Gonna get rid of the poll. I think we've, think we figured it out here. All right. Uh, close poll. Close poll. 
Here we go. There we are. Uh, yeah, it was just over at uh, Shane's. Uh, it wasn't quite a launch stream, I guess, Eric, but uh, a, a pre-launch stream. So uh, if you want to check out uh, some of Shane Davis's uh, books out there, uh, go ahead and check it out. I think um, uh, it might be on the Indiegogo. Uh, Eric, are you, yeah, Eric is a mod over here. Mod extraordinaire. So uh, Eric, if you want to put that into the chat, go right ahead. Uh, some good stuff uh, coming up tomorrow. Coming up tomorrow, it's, I believe, noon. High noon. I believe that's Eastern time. Uh, so anyways, all right, what do we got here? What do we have here? Ah, get into it. Get into it because we've got our first book here. Our first book contains uh, Jawbreakers. Jawbreakers here. There we go. There we are. Jawbreakers. Uh, this was number number three. Number three, I think. I think Bear, uh, Grand Bazaar. Grand Bazaar. I believe that was number three. Uh, with Sacred Blood and Nexus. Oh, you get Nexus with this one. Oh, very cool. Uh, okay. Uh, first off. First off. Our criteria. Criteria. Criteria that we got. So, uh, what Bear tries to do is, um, I'd normally get two books, uh, on, on some of the campaigns. So we'll check out one. Uh, give one away to the library. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, you're helping Bear kill some time and trying to figure out what's going where to the library. So I believe I've only got one one copy. Oops, there we go. <laughs> People can see. One copy of this. Uh, so um, uh, Bear, Bear might hold off on, on giving this one uh, away. Great poster here. Another great poster. Pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you, you boy. Thank you, you boy. And... Whatever controversy is getting into now. Uh, so there we go. There is there is that one. Just put that off to the side for one second. Because we've got an entire bag full, people. An entire bag full. All right, let me put this down. Get this out of the way. Whoa. All right, there we go. There's that book. Probably keeping that one. All right. Number two. People, you should... Beer should have taken a picture. Like, all... Had a huge... Bear, Bear loaded up a huge box full of nothing but books. And then tried to lift the box. And it was like, oh, okay, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. So, um, should have taken a picture of all the all the books in there. All of the books. There we go. Uh, thank you, Eric. Thank you very much. Uh, Ascend will be on both Indiegogo and Shane's website. There you go. Uh, Bear, am I correct? Jawbreakers 4 was the $1 one. Yes, it was. I, I think it is still... Um, in, actually, let me bring it up since I have it right here. For you good people, one second here. Uh, here he is, a uh, new Jawbreakers Indiegogo campaign. Uh, hi everyone, hi you boy! I, I had to launch this campaign three months early due to some boring tax reasons. Uh, revolving around moving to another state and transferring, registering my LLC this fall. Oh, exciting! Uh, but to make up uh, for uh, launch, uh, launching the next Jawbreakers campaign before the last Jawbreakers has been fulfilled, uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think we've gotten that one just yet. Uh, I have made the latest Jawbreakers campaign a two for one sale. Uh, you get two copies of Jawbreakers for the price of one. Uh, you can sell the second copy or give it away as a gift. That's what we're doing here, people. Uh, or whatever you want to do, it's your book. So crazy, <laughs> crazy Zach's uh, uh, campaign continues again. So he had the one dollar book, uh, and now you can buy one get one free. So uh, there you are, there you are. Uh, I'm a gentle lenty kills his sidekick so he can retire in peace, and he frames his enemies for the murderers. Sounds like a good guy to me. I like that guy. Uh, blah 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 blah. Go check out the uh, cuffs book as well. Yada, yada, yada. Looks like that guy got shot a couple times. Gotta watch out for that, buddy. Gotta watch out for that. Bullets hurt. Bullets hurt. And not just feelings, either. Not just feelings. So, uh, anyways, there is the there's the Jawbreakers campaign, if you want to go check that one out. Uh, so, yeah, he is releasing, he's releasing a new campaign before the uh, previously campaign uh, uh, went out. Uh, he took notes from Uncle Lee, apparently. Apparently. Ah, okay, all right, so, uh, all right, here is a good example. Here's a good example. So we've got, uh, is this you? And we've got, is this you? All right, so, uh, this will go, 
This will go, not fiendish though, but uh, there we go. That will go into the library pile. Library pile, and what else? Anything else beerhead in here? Oh, uh, runner, runner. I don't think, I think I just got one of these. Uh, that is going to go into, I'm going to need to make another pile here. That's going to go into the, I need to read this pile. Sorry, Paladin Hobbs. There you go. Into the, I need to read this pile. So uh, there we go. So that one will give away uh, this one here. Uh, this one will uh, stay with us. Stay with us here. Let's just try and keep all this stuff together. This is going to get out of hand really Really fast. All right, let me take this, do this, do the thing with the thing. One second here, people. You know how it goes. All right, there we go. Gotta make room. Gotta make room on the table here, people. There we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is he moving? I, I'm assuming Zach. Uh, your boy Zach out there? I'm gonna see VM here. Uh, your boy is so smart. Uh, he is moving to a higher tax state. <laughs> he's probably he's probably the one guy that's moving into California. Uh, th that's not an illegal. Uh, so there you go. Uh, where is he moving? Uh, he moved again. Uh, didn't he move from New York to Florida? Uh, where did he move to now? Uh, Eric says last, I think, yeah, last bear herd he was in Texas. But um, trying to keep tabs on your boy, that's, that's a little difficult. Uh, Zach's going to live in all 50 states. 50 states. Uh, 57 if you're Obama. I, I'm going to start a rumor he's moving to Alaska. <laughs> no, no, make, make it Hawaii. Make, uh, uh, ha have like a, um, uh, like, like the photos on the beach and just kind of cut out um, uh, uh, your boy's face and just kind of stick it on there where he's got like a Hawaiian shirt and you know, diamond back in the background or something like that. That that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Or <laughs> don't, don't put don't put his head on like the hula girls or anything like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right. So we've got we've got the bear needs to read this pile. Uh, in the we're gonna give this away pile. We're gonna give this away. All right, more dwarfs. Uh, most of these should be um, uh, your boy Zach, uh, Narzak, that sort of deal. So uh, let's let's find out what's in this one. Bear really needs to do. By the way, if you have any suggestions in the chat of how to um, how to organize all your stuff, that would be very helpful for Bear. Very helpful for Bear. There we go. Um, one of the most controversial covers of all time. Uh, the Impossible Stars. Impossible Stars. So, uh, I know I've got another one of these. I know I did a another one. So, uh, this will go into the, um, this will go into the, uh, read. Or, uh, 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 send to the library pile. Send to the library pile. So, uh, I'm just gonna put that back for right now. I, I gotta find the other one. It's probably, probably in with the other, the other boxes here. Alright, alright. I'm losing hair. Uh, isn't it like, isn't it like a hair loss, hair loss appreciation month? No, uh, hair loss awareness month. Hair, hair loss awareness month. Yes, indeed. I uh, go bolts. There we go. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Oh yeah, there we go. Ah oh, shoot, I forgot my beer. Uh, maybe maybe later. Maybe later. We'll get into the beer. Go bolts. That's right. That's right. Cause we were right down there. We were right down there by Emily. Uh, there is the other cover. Okay, so that is going to go... That's going to go into the pile there. There we go. There it is. Uh, Jawbreakers. Let's see, which one was this? God King. God King. So God King was the second one? I think that was the second uh, Jawbreakers book, if Bear remembers correctly. Um, uh, Kyle Ritter. Kyle Ritter did the cover there. So I think I've got more than one copy. There we go. Oh, the first one. Okay, so there's the first one. It was a reprint. Kind of the second second chance, second uh, uh, go along. Bear heard about uh, Jawbreakers. Kind of kind of rumors out there. The jaw. There's a book being produced on an Indiegogo website uh, that people can check out. An independent comic called Jawbreakers. And, and then it was um, Cyberfrog. So um, yeah, Bear heard about it, but knew nothing about comics. 
obviously Calvin and Hobbes, but um, I knew there. I'm sorry, people. I'm holding it <laughs> not in frame here. I, I heard about Jawbreakers. Didn't know much about it. It went out of um, the campaign. Um, Cyberfrog started up. Bear started to get a little bit more into the comic stage scene. Uh, Cyberfrog uh, closed, uh, so we never got the uh, first, the, the original cover for Cyberfrog. Um, so that's why Bear's got the um, alternate cover here. So uh, there we go. There is, there is that. Uh, Jawbreakers. That one. Let's see which one this is. I forget. Uh, God King. God King. So we got two. Let's see. Who did this cover? Who did this cover? Let's see. Covers by Ethan Red Skyburn, Cal Ritter. Uh, so this is this must have been Uncle Lee. Okay, all right. So I got God King and God King. Ah, all right. Here is here's our first question, people. Um, it looks like this is the one that Beer. Okay, so one of the things that Beer does is doing the reviews of the books. So of course he has to. Hello, hey there, Sashi. Uh, it has to open it up a, a full, there we go, there we go, full, fully the way, so the, so the, let me see if I can get, get it on camera here, can we see the binding, the, the binding might not be perfect uh, on the book here, it might have, yeah, you can see the little bend in there, so that's what Bear tries to do, is if we're going to give it away uh, to the local library, might as well give away the, um, uh, the one that has the defect uh, in there, not, not the, oh, here kids, here's a defective comic book, but, um, uh, this is the one that Beer hasn't quite opened up yet, so, uh, I'm sorry, Uncle E, we're, we're choosing, uh, we're choosing Kyle Ritter, Kyle Ritter, so, uh, Jawbreakers 1, Jawbreakers 2, uh, let's see, we had, we had the third one, right? I think so. Uh, anyways, we're keeping those, keeping those, oh, Expendables, look at there, remember that one? Ah, oh, there we go. I think Billy Tucci did the cover on that one, so uh, there we go. Uh, it's my only copy, so we're going to keep that one. There's Sly! Oh, I should have got the poster off of that one. I would have loved a very good Sly Stallone one. So. Uh, anyways, the only copy Beer has, so we're going we're gonna to hold on to that one. Hold on to that one. <clears throat> did Beer say he forgot his beer? Uh, it's not a Bud beer, is it? No, no, it's a local... Gosh dang it, now, now you're talking me into it. Uh, yeah, your boy Zach deserves credit. Uh, showing us all, it's impossible to make hundreds of thousands of, on a comic book. Good job, your boy. Good job, your boy. Gosh dang it, P-Money. All right, hold on. I'll be right back. One second here, people. Uno momento. Talk amongst your shells. Yeah. Whoa. I mean, it is it, it it is a Saturday night, so I mean you might as well you might as well here. So um, here we go. This one's for P money. Ah, there we go. There we are. Good stuff. Good good stuff. All right, let me get back to um. Where were we in the chat here? <clears throat> Sorry about that, people. <clears throat> <laughs> Eric says, uh, I love how Bud has become a term for something nobody wants. Nobody wants. Now, this is a, a, a local a local outfit. Um, uh, proof. Proof. So, um, I went down to Tampa and had a couple good ones. Uh, Cigar City. Uh, you know, most of the people in Comic Skate, I guess, are more um, uh, uh, liquor. More liquor. Bears, bears more um, uh, beer. Uh, uh, he brewed for a number of years. So, um... I, I can figure out what a good and bad... God, Bud Light. Bud just in general. Uh, Bud, I mean, uh, if you really don't have anything else, and, you know, okay, you're hard up. Uh, Bud Light, forget about it. Uh, even before all the, the situations going on there, so... Anywho, anywho. All right, let me... <laughs> uh... 
Uh, P Money says, I always wondered how much contact with Stallone Zack actually had for the comic. Uh, like, did he talk to him by email or actually on the phone? I don't know about that. I uh, was talking with Narwhal uh, about some of that stuff. Not necessarily how much they talked. He, he more or less brought it up. Um, uh, you know, Zack <laughs> Zach is an interesting fella. Uh, Richard, I should say. Richard uh, of Meyer. Interesting fella. Um, I, I think he's off in his own kind of little world there. And whenever he needs something or, or needs to ask a question or something like that, yeah, okay, he'll, he'll be the first to be in touch. But, um, you know, after the fact, no, probably not. Oh, of course you can't even see. Hold on. I do. I do. Where is it here? One second. Gosh dang it. Um, where is it? Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There is the, there's the beer there. Go bolts, go bolts out there. <laughs> all right, all right. So we got we've got those books. Um, oh, here they are. Here they are. One second, people. Get back to it. Get right back to it here. Oh, here we go. There we go. This is some stuff that people are gonna want to see and check out. See and check. Holy moly, people! You're not gonna believe this one. Okay, so um. Clear some of this stuff out of the way. I'm just trying to organize some of this stuff. So uh, there we go. Gonna keep those. Get rid of those. Bear needs to read that one. Oh, for crying out loud! There we go. Get those out of the way. You won't believe it, people. You won't believe it because I'm from Uncle E. From Uncle E here. Bear just couldn't do it, people. He couldn't open up. Couldn't open up the tape. So uh. We've actually got a cyber frog in the box still. Hasn't even been opened, so, uh, I don't know. Do they grade? Do they do the CGC uh, grading when it's still in the box and nobody's ever touched it or did anything with it? It's still like a 9.7 or something, so. There you go. I didn't even realize that. Had one that hadn't even opened. Pretty cool. I believe, let's see, let me check the date on there. Uh, 42921. So that might be that might have been the second chance campaign. That might have been the second chance book with the um uh, well, uh, uh was it I, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Um the Salamandroid and Cyberfrog. Uh, uh was it the team up cover? Team up cover, so uh, there we go. Never opened. Never opened. Pretty cool. Uh, uh, okay, so Beer did get Beer did get two. There we go. Gosh dang it. <laughs> you can't see it. I uh, two of the uh, Cyberfrog books. Um, this one has the head sketch in there. There's a head sketch in there, so I'm not going to give that away. Uh, this kind of is a rare, kind of a rare cover. There we go. Kind of the rare cover of the J. Lee one. So, um, gosh, I, I have a really hard time uh, giving, <laughs> giving either one of these away. Uh, giving either one of these away. Um... That's going to be, it'll be a question mark. It'll be a question. By the way, I've got the, ah, yeah. Here, losing my hair. Right, he did a really cool thing where he, uh, he did the, um, the toys. There we go. There we go. There we go. Pretty cool. And, and the keychain. And the keychain. There we go. People are asking, where, where where did Bear get his driver's license at? Well, uh, you know, the school of hard knocks. The school of hard knocks, people. <clears throat> Ever get that thing where you get hair stuck in your mouth? And you're like, pah, pah, pah. Bear is losing his hair. It's so hot out there, people. Bear's losing his hair. It's like, it's like 99 degrees today. It was, it was just horrible. Bear just... Had to go down to the woods. Go down to the woods and get some get some relief. Speaking of relief, some liquid relief. Ah, there we are. Good old proof. Good old proof. All right, so yeah, little iffy on giving either of those away. Uh, this is the one that Bear had from the first from the first campaign. I ended up getting two. Uh, the library already has Cyberfrog. So Cyberfrog 1 is already at the library. Um, let's see here. Uh, come on. 
Here. Get out of here. Oh, it's stuck in the bag, of course. Of course. There we go. Uh, one that people didn't... I don't think many people got this one. Uh, this is a uh, coloring book. It's a Cyberfrog coloring book. Um, the only downside to it is he went... Let me put this off to the side. Uh, he went to the edges on some of the stuff. Let me find a good example. This is a good example. So there we go. So it goes right to the edge. So it's probably going to be a little hard to color there. But uh, there you are. That may be what's in this what, What's in this box. Beer might have gotten two of these. So, um, uh, gosh, I'd hate to open up the other one just not to find out. Um, let's see. Is this signed or anything? No. No. This might be a possibility, people. That might be a possibility. Alright, um, what else we got here? What else? Ah, okay, I thought this was more Cyberpunk. This is actually... Starblades! Starblades! I don't know how many people did the Starblades campaign, but a really good book. Really good book. Enjoyed uh, uh, Kyle Ritter's artwork. He did a really good job with it. Um, interesting... Uh, characters that he had there, so, uh, there you go. Pretty good stuff. Starblades. Starblades. There we go. If Beer remembers correctly, one of the first, uh, reviews that Beer did in HDR. So, uh, I, I got to show all the great colors for you people. Alright, uh, oops, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Beer's banging around here. Uh, in, in the same cover, it looks like, so... Alright, here we go. There we go, Starblades. Pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure which one I opened. We'll just put this one up here for right now, and we'll figure it out later. We will figure it out later. So there we go, um, a possible a coloring book and a Starblades book. Signed! Signed, people, too! Crying up loud. Beer. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, yeah, there we go, there's that. Uh, beer, beer went down to the uh, comics uh, convention there in Tampa, and they had uh, both um, Jawbreakers 1, or excuse me, excuse me, um, a Graveyard Shift 1 and 2, uh, I believe for like 150 or 250. Uh, so the local library has a signed copy of John Malin's um, a Graveyard Shift number 1 there. So there you go. Very lucky library. Huh. Yeah, there is, there is that, so uh, not a bad collection there from Uncle Lee and from uh, your boy Zach. Good stuff there. Yeah, there we go, there we go. That's, he's out of the way. So, uh, yeah, the, the first Cyberfrog bear got was this one, and it's probably the most, the, the most rare of all the Cyberfrog. I think it was only on for like a week or two, so uh, there we go. Here we are. Oof. Gravy people. All right, I, I'm sorry. I am per, uh, uh, ignoring the chat here. Uh, great to see Melissa here. Great to see Melissa. As always. As always. <clears throat> How does beer make beer out in the woods? Uh, I would think moonshine would be easier. It's kind of the same process, more or less. Um... M moonshine, if beer remember... Uh, beer's... Uh, if anybody is listening, Beer has never made moonshine before. Uh, if Beer remembers correctly, it's a little bit, um, you got, you got to cool it down and run it through some stuff. Uh, beer is a little bit different, but, uh, uh, no, all you got to do is find some molasses, uh, some yeast, uh, some nice clean water, uh, in, in about two weeks or so. Uh, and there you go. There, you get some, get some delicious beer from the woods. <laughs> Giving it all away. Giving it all away here. <laughs> uh, let's see. P-Money says, In my 20s, I would go to parties or dates on a Saturday night. Now I'm in my 40s, and I spend most of my Saturday nights with a bear. Well, that's that's where everybody should be. Thank you, P-Money. Do appreciate it. Great to have you here. Great to have you here. Yeah, anyway, so bears, you know, kind of contemplating, okay, what the hell to do, do for a show tonight, and... You know, try to try to make it where it's engaging, fun, engaging, 
you might learn something. Hopefully you get a laugh or two out of it. So, um, there we go. Why do I have my... Oh, for crying out loud, I got my... <laughs> this is this is my color right here is is um uh, the white balance card it's behind all this stuff so that's why there is a uh a dgk color tools thing sticking out there <laughs> bear should check out his uh setup before he goes live uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, anyways any who out here <clears throat> oh lots of highs hellos i need to organize my comics gate books myself dang it eric i was hoping that you would tell bear how to do it <laughs> Uh, super ultra perfect mint. Uh, uh, probably, probably. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Um. Oh, Mega Man. There we go. Hello, sir. How are you? Uh, all these box openings and no theme song. They've already been opened, be funny for crying out loud. They've already, they've already been opened. <laughs> Beer's just going back through them. All right. Uh, holy cow. Um. Uh, Narwhal or, um, John? Narwhal or John? Which, which one should we go through next here? I love the weight on that answer. Beer's gonna enjoy another sip of beer. Ah. You got beer started, P-Money. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. That's some good stuff. It's getting hot. Hot out there for a beer. Hot out there for a beer. Do, 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 do. All right, nobody has any comments. Um, uh, let, let's do Malin. Let's do Malin. All right, this is out of the way. This is out of the way. All right. Oh my god, this thing's heavy. Oh, for freak's sake. Yeah, so right there, another, another giant. Another giant bag of it. Uh, Bears Read. Well, uh, I, I got this book that I need to read over here, uh, Runner. There's probably some more, probably some more in here as well that Bear needs to get around to. But uh, yes, Bears do read. Uh, it's helpful when they have pictures. Always enjoy the pictures. That's always good. When it's just a wall of text. Uh, can't stand it. Can't stand it. All right. Um, on a pizza LLC. Box openings. I hope you're happy, P Money. Hope you are happy, sir. Ah, gosh, dang it. Alright, uh, uh, ah, Jawbreakers and, um, and, uh, uh, USA Assassin. It's, yeah, right? Yeah, USA Assassin, book three. Right there, just. Hubba hubba. There we go, there's something else there. The Graveyard Shift Book 3, USA Assassin. So it's the same one? Book 3, Graveyard. Oh, okay, so that's one. There we go, can you see it? There we go, one cover. And the other cover. Uh, so this might, this might go in with the, uh, with the collection there. So, um, uh, we'll, we'll pick one out. We'll pick one out there. Get into this. Huh. You're welcome, P-Money. You, sir, are welcome. Glad to have you here. Alright, oh, gosh, dang it. Oh, holy cow, this is a thick one. Alright, let's see here. Oh, where, you, where you people can see it. Yes, indeed. Aha! The Mother Load. The Mother Load. Uh, volume 1. Volume 1. So the library already has this one. So signed, by the way. Can we see it? There we go. Signed. So yeah, that's that's a good hundred and fifty dollars right there. Well, they were asking for it. I don't know if they actually got it or not. Uh, so they got that one. They got that one. Beer nose. Off to the side. I'm pretty sure that they got the second one. I'll have to go back and uh, take a look there. This is the one that they actually offered the sketch. The sketch on the back there. So that's that's why this stuff comes signed. Uh, John didn't do the signing, uh, I think, after the first book. Uh, first book probably just got too popular. He was tired of signing stuff. So, uh, anyways, there is there is that. There's this. Let's see. A Graveyard Shift Volume 2 and the Supplemental. So, it's got both of them in there. Can you see that? 
I probably can't see that. So, uh, anyways, there's Graveyard Shift numero dos. I'll have to double check. I, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure that we got two of them to the local library. Uh, if Bear... If Bear is remembering correctly. Off to the side. Cool. Ah! <laughs> okay. Here's some interesting ones. Uh, these are a little bit out of order. I thought I had them all... I had them all a little bit organized here, but that's what happens when you're trying to figure out how to organize with a beer. A VM is asking to show his copy of Sovereign. Uh, he's never seen one. Neither has Bear. Neither has Bear. Still waiting. Uh, uh, Huerta came out with an update, like, uh, what was that, about a week, week and a half ago. He says, yeah, I'm still alive. I'm still here. I still have your money. I still have your books. <laughs> so that was that was interesting. Uh, Starblades is Kyle Ritter. Kyle Ritter. Let's see. I've never heard of Starblades, uh, but it's all caps. I thought that was just Ethan's uh, Frogverse. No, no, no. They did they did Starblades. They did the. Help me out here, Eric. They did, um, uh, uh, some uh, Snowman or something like that. Uh, and there might have been one other. Bear, Bear might be forgetting. All right, here we go. Uh, Ethan occasionally pu publishes other people's stuff uh, through all caps. Uh, only uh, people that he feels needs help, like Kyle, uh, Matt Martin, there we go, and Dale Keown. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The unfortunate situation with the uh, posters, the posters out there. Uh, uh, Kelsey Shannon was talking about this. He was uh, uh, Apparently, Bear was one of the very first... Uh, uh, creatures out there to um, uh, review Nora Saga. Uh, would have loved to have uh, continued this. This was a really good book. A re if you people haven't checked out the Nora Saga, uh, at least the very first one, uh, excellent, excellent book. Go go check that out. Uh, uh, Blake, Blake Norcroft and uh, Kelsey Shannon did the book. Um, uh, great writing, uh, great artwork by Kelsey. Of course, great colors. Um, the only reason Bear didn't continue with it was it was going through, here it is, Futurists, another great one out here, Bass Reeves, uh, it was going through, you can see it here, I'll try to have him peek out, uh, it was going through, um, uh, Allegiance, Allegiance, uh, the, anyways, the Red Rooster, Red Rooster, there. Uh, they, they got Red Rooster at the library, so this one's already, already good, um, uh, none of the other... I don't recall if Bear did the Norris Saga and some of the other stuff. I'll have to go back. It might just be one copy. Um, anyways, the only reason didn't go back and get more is because you had to get it through Allegiance Arts. And I didn't really want to give um, uh, give them any more money. So uh, that was that was the only unfortunate part about it. I would love to go check out more of the Norris Saga and the Bass Reeves. Uh, Futurists, eh. Um... Uh, Red Rooster, we know how that turned out. Um, there's that. There is that. Uh, thank you, Eric. He says, uh, Starblades, uh, Snowmen and Creed, uh, plus the pit posters for Dale. Yeah, I forgot about the Snowmen. Uh, where's your copy of Detective Dan? Bear never, uh, well, Timmy McTimberson. He, he never ordered that one, so thank goodness. Saved a couple bucks there. Uh, P-Money says, yay, Roos out of the room getting beautiful Blake North Cross autograph was a highlight. Yes, it was. I'm sure. I, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to read back here. Let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Yeah, Grant. Grant. Yeah, he, he did a really good job on Starblades. Uh, after, after the video here, go check out Bear's... Uh, review of that. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Enjoyed that. Um, a, a good book. A good had uh, probably a little too many characters that he was trying to start out with the first book, but um, uh, the ones that he have, it, it did really well. I, I enjoyed the book. Enjoyed the book. Uh, looking forward uh, to the new ones. A, a couple odd ones here. Uh, Bear's definitely not given this away, but uh, uh, something there from Matt Cawson. Uh, he's going to be doing the modded book coming out here. Um, I just got an email the other day from Cawson, and finally sending out some artwork for Bear. I think Bear got this the last time Cawson sent some artwork, so this is just kind of some silly, 
silly stuff that they were. Little, little short stories, let's see. I, I think he's got like three or four short stories in here. Oh, five. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six short stories. So there you go. Interesting stuff there. Uh, ah, a great one. Great one here. Um, Matthew Weldon. Matthew Weldon and um, uh, uh, Quinn. Quinn Howard. Uh, Tadia. Uh, the wraparound cover. The wraparound cover. So, uh, and a hardcover. Mirror's only copy, so he's keeping this one. Keeping, keeping that one in the stack there. For sure, people. Uh, poor Grant uh, contributed to Detective Dead. I uh, was hoping he'd eventually finish it. I've got some bad news for you, Grant. I, I didn't want to dislike someone over uh, some wasted money. I'd rather see a redemption arc. I remember there were some people a while back where they were trying to get some artists together that would just do, like, five or ten pages on the book. Um, obviously, they would have to work, you know, for free, but... Um, uh, they, they were talking about doing that and Bear heard about that like a year ago. So I don't think that, I don't think that ever went anywhere. I don't think that went anywhere. So, um, yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate about Detective Dead. All right, let me clean this stuff up. One second here, people. Get this stuff cleaned up for you. And we'll do bag number three. Bag number three. There's that, there's that. Oh, God, these are heavy. Oh, wait, no, I had more. Hold on. But wait. There's more? There is more. Oh, God. Holy cow. Oh, more. Oh, okay, these are more of the... Okay. More of those. Okay. Uh, let's see. I remember he did a show, I'm, I'm assuming Critias. Uh, did a show that made him look really uh, bad, uh, but I didn't see it and didn't want uh, to take it out of context. It basically, um, uh, Critias apparently uh, used the funds that people were giving him for his books to buy Comicsgate books for himself. Um, which is, <laughs> I mean... Hey, th thanks for giving money to other artists, but you're taking money out of people's pockets and you know using it for yourself. So, not a not a good not a good idea. I, I don't know if that was uh, part of that or not, but uh, there you go. Uh, Gunship Thunder Punch. Uh, that one went to the library, so that one's already there. Good stuff from Brian Shearer. Good stuff there. Uh, speaking of a comic we may or may not ever see here, uh, Brand uh, Brand Two. Uh, apparently. Uh, Kane and White went and did uh, some other stuff there, so he's not working on the second one here. So um, uh, we'll we'll see about that. Uh, brand, there's that one. Brand and brand. And uh, if Beer remembers correctly, the I, I think there were four of these. So Beer Beer gave the fourth one to the library. So that's where that's where that one's at. So there's that. There's that. USA Assassin. Here we go. Uh, Mike McCann, uh, doing some great work out there. There we go. Can we see that? There we are. Uh, there we go. Grant has brand. There you go. I don't think you'll get the second one anytime soon. We'll see. We will see. There we go. Oh, yeah. I remember this one. Good stuff. I actually have... actually have the... There was another... It might have been the promotional... might have been the promotional cover... Uh, Beer's got the original art for that, so, uh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Mike McMahon, the good Mike out there. The good Mike. Ah, uh, here we go. Here is the rest of the Jawbreakers. Or, excuse me, Graveyard Shift. Graveyard Shift, supplemental number two. So there's the supplemental. If Beer would have thought about this, he could have taken this down to co uh, the Comic-Con there and get some of the people that were down there to sign it. Uh, Graveyard Shift number three. There we go. Uh, this is going to go into the read pile. I don't even think I've read number three. There we are. Uh, we were talking about uh, the artwork uh, a little while back. Uh, this one is for the Spite campaign, if Bear remembers correctly, the second one. And uh, essentially the same artwork from John. So I'm wondering if he just, like, 
it was like tracing it out. It was like tracing it out. Bear, Bear opened it up. I remember live, like one of the very first live shows that Bear ever did uh, was opening up and checking out uh, the Graveyard Shift. And it came out, it was the same, uh, the, the same artwork. So uh, like maybe a little bit of different blood splattering, but that was about it. I think maybe, maybe his eyes were a little, let's see, do I have it? Do I have it over here? Hold on. So there's, there's number one. There's number two. <laughs> it looks, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more blood or something, but um, there you go. There you go. So that was the, that was the spite campaign for number two here. Spite campaign for number two. Get that out of the way. That out of the way. One of Bear's favorites. Again, another one that Bear should have taken down. Uh, with him was the, uh, what was this called? Um, visions. Visions. Uh, so it took, it took the characters from Graveyard Shift and gave it to a bunch of different artists. Um, in fact, uh, Beer was talking with Elliot about, uh, about this. He's got one in there, so, um, Elliot Fernandez. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. And, and the reason that Beer got it was this one right here from Camp Lee. <laughs> The Little Graveyard Shift. I think that was on three. They had it on one, and they had it on three. Um, so, unfortunately, there was no number two. But, um, Little Graveyard Shift. Little Graveyard Shift. Beer is holding on to that with both claws. Both claws. Um, ah, USA Assassin. There we go. There we go. Pretty cool stuff. With Beer's favorite all time. You can't see it back there, but one of the books is... Uh, they had a character called Bazooka Dog uh, that they had. Great, great stuff. Beer, every time he talked to Mike McMahon, it was like, Bazooka Dog's got to be the greatest character of all time. Of all time. And USA Assassin. Here we go. So probably one of these will... Let's see, this is book number two. Number two. This one was, let's see... Uh, three. Two, three... I think this is one. So let's see here. Let's see. Do I have an extra one? No, I don't. I don't. I'm sorry, kids. You don't get to read USA Assassin. USA Assassin at the local library. All right. So there's that. All right. What else? Ugh. Holy moly. There's even more graveyard. I didn't even know I had this many. Uh, let's see. Uh, Spike Campaign. Uh, and... Yeah, so Volume 2. So this is definitely one of these books that'll go to the to the library here. Do I have room? Will it fall over? Don't knock over the beer. Um, ah, good deal. Holy moly. Holy moly, I've got more than... Ha ha ha, people. Beer, beer got it. Ha 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 All he's got to do is figure out his his eBay game, and and we are on, baby. Look at there, two copies of it, signed. Ah, here we go. Here's a USA Assassin. So we'll be able to do a a USA Assassin. So that'll that'll go in. Let me just go ahead and drop that off. There we go. There's. So the kids will get a USA Assassin. Yay for the kids. Yay, kids. There we go. There we go. So, not, not one, not two, but three. Uh, graveyard shift number twos. Uh, so, we'll have to check. We'll have to check and see if they have uh, number two there. I'm pretty sure they did. Pretty sure they did, but maybe... Maybe Bear held off for reasons. Alright, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get, get to the chat here. Get to the chat and get to the beer. Ah. Let's see, Eric says, I have brand. Luckily, I didn't back brand two. Ah, uh, Bear wishes he was that smart. Uh, Lion Star 3 is finally coming out, says VM. I will believe it when I see it. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, P Money says, I bought a brand number one, uh, but I don't think I got number two. It never came out? No. Uh, it, I mean, they, they started, if Bear remembers correctly, they started the campaign right after the, the first book came out. Um, and that was like two years ago. So, uh, yeah, not a lot of movement on that. I think they got a, another artist to do, I, I think Kanan got like partway through and then whatever happens, so they had to bring in a new artist and everything. Um, probably because Antonio just kept changing his mind. Brand was a very confusing uh, book. I mean, you you would get into it, and then it would shift to a completely different character. Um, uh, Eric, if you ever have a chance, go check out Bear's review of Brand, because it was like, okay, our, our main character is... Da -da -da, nope, nope, that's not him. Our main character is... Nope, 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 that's not him. Our main character is... It's like 15 pages into the book. We finally get to the main character. It's like, ah, for crying out loud. Oh, no, I'm setting all this up for four books down the line. It's like, I don't care about four books down the line. Give me a good story in this one. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric says, ka Ha, 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 ha. I hope so. Bear needs to get his, um, his eBay game on here. Got some, um, got some, um, uh, original art as well. So, uh, looking forward to selling some of that. So, uh, uh, yeah, hey, if you have any, uh, if anybody is missing a Graveyard Shift 2 signed and want to check it out, um, Beer's got his email in the description down there. You can email him and we'll, um, we'll work something out. We will work something out here. Uh, Grant says, not sure if I contributed to Brand 2 or not, waiting patiently for Lone Star 3. Uh, although it sounds like it uh, should somehow involve Texas, one would hope. I think it's about vampires. <clears throat> uh, about to head uh, into a uh, mission, so I may not be interacting for the next few minutes. Oh, well, good luck, Grant. Good luck, sir. Uh, P-Money agreed over the years I've cut back on my campaign uh, books, Comicscape books, rather, because uh, I've seen uh, who I can trust with my money. I would say a majority of the people out there in Comicsgate are fine. Um, you know, we've kind of weeded out a number of the people, you know, if you've got a new campaign starting out, you kind of, that's why Bear didn't uh, get, like, like Fiendish, for example. I didn't really know Rene that well, didn't uh, follow her that much, um, you know, so I wasn't sure about a lot of that stuff. So, you know, again, uh, some of that stuff kind of, um, you know, you go with who you know, and you kind of stay away from some of those folks, but at the same time, it's like, okay, but they could have a really good book, and you might be missing out. So, uh, Beer tries to get a mix, you know, get some, get some um, uh, uh, big books, and then some uh, smaller books out there. Um, I, I tell you what, going down to Tampa really kind of refreshed uh, Beer and his Comics Gate stuff. Uh, really wanting to get more into uh, some of the, um, I don't want to say lesser known or smaller, but... Um, uh, books that don't have, or channels that don't have as big of a reach as like a Malin or a, a Uncle Lee or something like that, Shane, something like that. So, um, uh, yeah, really, really getting back into some of that stuff. was watching the uh, uh, Hyper Wizard stream last night. Got to meet him down there, so I watched that. I didn't really know much about his channel. They were uh, talking about uh, writing, uh, how to do writing on there. So that, that was really good. Um, uh, interesting stuff. I'll have to check out uh, Diaz Brothers. Have to check out some of their stuff. So uh, I think it might be just Bear might be scaling back on some of the bigger campaigns, but we'll still do some of the smaller ones and uh, go from there. Go from there. So we'll see. <clears throat> we shall see. All right. Well, uh, anyways, good luck, Grant. Good luck with that. Wu says Melissa. Kaching says Eric. Uh, is the Bear flexing? Uh. <laughs> oh, good to see Jeff here. Good to see Jeff. Uh, let's see, uh, Lone Star 3 is coming out. Uh, I can verify that as a fact. I don't believe you, sir. Don't believe you. have to see it in Beer's, Beer's claws here. Although, uh, I don't have it with with him, but Beer's actually got a number of the Lone Star 2 that he'll be, he'll be giving away here. All right, uh, there we go. Thank you, Eric. Thank you so much. Eric is on the ball. Mod extraordinaire out here. Oh, good to have Grant back. Good to have Grant. Oh, good to see Chris. Ain't this the butts, he says. <laughs> well, I hope so. We are um, trying to figure out 
which books Bear needs to read, which books Bear is giving away to the local library here, and it's getting kind of thick here, uh, which books Bear is going to keep for his own uh, uh, enjoyment, or maybe eBay at some point here, and just having some fun with you guys. Just having some fun with you guys. Uh, Amy says, Lone Star 3 just finished Colors. Oh my goodness, R.I.P. to the colorist out there. R.I.P. <laughs> poor, poor Mike and his colorists. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, gotta read Narwhal's books. Well, hold on, sir. We'll get right to that here in just a second. We've actually got some. Hold on. Let me uh, let me clean this stuff up. Get this stuff out of the way. Nope, not that. There we go. Come on, OBS. There we go. Get this stuff out of the way. One second, people. Talk amongst your shelves. All that jazz. Okay, that was box number two. Bag number two. Oof. All right. I'll just bring half of you. Oh, oof. Yeah. Beer's gonna have. Beer's gonna need to go to the chiropractor. Hey, yay. Hey, hey. Ah, there we are. Cut thump. You people heard that. Hmm. Excuse me. Getting the getting the beer burps here. That's why beer doesn't drink. Beer on stream here. Uh, so speaking of Narwhal, speaking of Narwhal, um, uh, his second book here, uh, Foreign Agent, Foreign Agent. Here we are. And let's see what else was in there. Oh, he's got uh, uh let's see, a sketchbook, a number of other things there. So uh, there we go. There is, there is a Foreign Agent, and this is a thick book. A thick book. This one may go to the library because Beer actually has the hardcover here. The hardcover with, if I can find it here. There we are. With a sketch. Look at that. A normal sketch. <laughs> so there we are. Special thanks to all those people out there for doing what they do. Oh my goodness, it's... I didn't notice that before. It's getting a little, what do they call that, fluting? Right where, where the page wrinkles a little bit? Oh my goodness, I just noticed that. Is that on all the pages? No, no, I think it might have been just, just that. There is a half-naked man for some reason. Whatever. There we are. I kind of wish this was in uh, color. Uh, I, I wish that they did it in uh, color, but uh, that's all right. That's all right. It was a good book. A good book. So this one might go... That one might actually go to the library for an agent. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. There might be some. Uh, it's going in the kids section, so I don't want to want to make sure that nothing untold was in there. It's been a while since I read that. Um, oh, holy cow! Okay. Uh, payment on delivery. There we are. Good book. Um, payment on delivery. And not one, but two. Oh, these are the ones that are signed. These are not going anywhere. Oh, and uh, that one must be also signed. There we go. There is uh, not... Let me get this a little bit better here. Not going to see too many... Too many signed 499s out here. Too many signed 499s. So at that and payment on delivery. Those are both signed. So those are... Those are sticking with beer here. Sticking... Sticking with beer and a bunch of other stuff. I don't want to pull it out of the box here. But a whole bunch of good stuff. So that is... That, that is that. Uh, f some of the stuff is uh, what's called uh, a Narzak joint. So it's uh, your boy Zack and Narwhal doing stuff together. Uh, so for example, Foreign Agent is just Narwhal. Um, uh, 499, uh, that was uh, your boy Zack. Uh, Narzak. A um, couple others... Uh, let's see. Uh, is this you? Is this what we're giving one of those away? So, is this you? Is another one. Um, gosh, uh, runner, runner as well. If Bear remembers correctly. Um, ah, here we go. Here's ones that are. I don't believe they're signed. Let me check. Nope. Nope. But do you give away? Do you give away to the local library payment on demand, which is basically. Um, <laughs> Uh, the bad Germans uh, uh, wrote a contract with aliens, and aliens come back 65 years later to uh, 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 go with 
get their payment on delivery, as it were, there. So they had to come up, and uh, the, the people of Earth are trying to, like... Uh, the aliens didn't know that the, the, the bad Germans lost the war, so they're trying to pretend that they're all bad Germans and, you know, seek oil and all this other stuff when, you know, they're really not. They're trying to fool the aliens and had a really interesting um, uh, twist at the end. So, I don't know. I don't know if you give... There's some very humorous stuff about bad Germans in there. I don't know if you want to give that away to the, to the local library or not. We'll, we'll have to think about that one. I have to think about that one. There we go. Get that one out of the way. Uh, and finally, well, not finally, but uh, uh, Earthbound. Earthbound. There we go. The the first one, if beer recalls. I believe this is... No, this is part two. It says it right there. Part two. There we are. So, uh, Earthbound. There we go. Good normal stuff. Uh, he had it in, um, floppy, but, uh, I, I really like the, uh, the hardcover. hardcover there. So we got, uh, Earthbound in hardcover, uh, Foreign Agent in hardcover. Good stuff. Always try to get the hardcovers. I know they're a little bit more expensive, but, um, I don't know. They, they kind of, uh, uh, stick out on the bookshelf a little bit better, and, um, uh, really good stuff. Uh, Chris says Earthbound is one of his favorites as well. Uh, the, the beginning of the first book took a little bit of time for Bear to get into, but yeah, once you get, once you get past maybe the first 20 or so pages, although they're really good, um, yeah, it really, it really hits. It's like, um, kind of a, a sort of high school, teenage, uh, a comedy romance sort of deal with, um, really high level, um, uh, it, how do, how do you describe that? Uh, consciousness and the effects of free will. Um, uh, very philosophical um, uh, uh, stuff in there. So a very interesting, very interesting book. I'd love to see that as a movie one day. That would make a really good... They don't even need to do the whole Grand Prix, all that other stuff. They just do kind of a uh, aliens in high school. Um Aliens hiding hiding out in uh, American high school. I, I think that's a really, it's a really unique and interesting concept. Um, anyways, yeah, beer beer like that quite a bit, quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, take your books. Uh, talk to your books, everyone. Says <laughs> Amy. Okay, here we go. Uh, talk amongst our shelves. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Grant says, uh, did he forget you're a colorist or is he just messing with you? I'm just messing with Amy. Just messing with Amy. Gotta watch out, though. Gotta watch out. We are all praying for Amy and her best health out there from coloring Mike's book. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um... <laughs> Pete Mike says, I'm wondering if Lone Star 3 will have colors by and have 20 names underneath it. No, it would be... Um, uh, in, in, uh, what, what, how do they put that? You know, in, in memoriam, uh, you know, uh, in memory of, you know, of all the colorists that, that worked and shed blood on, on Lone Star 3. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't laugh. There, there are people that had some unfortunate incidents, but, uh, I mean, it's like one after the other. It became a sick joke after a while. <laughs> Bear laughed at it for crying out loud, so there you go. Uh, Chris says, now nah, it has a sex stuff in there. Uh, uh, the um, uh, uh, payment on delivery. Okay, thank you. It's been a little bit since I read that, so. Okay. Uh-oh, P-Money has an unpopular opinion. Uh, Narwhal is so hit or miss with uh, him. Uh, some of his stuff he loves, and some of his stuff went eh. Um... You know, it might be just kind of the difference between the stuff that he's doing and the, the stuff that um, uh, your boy Zach is writing. So that, that might be that might be some of it. Coloring by attrition, says Eric. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, what's your favorite Narwhal book? Uh, P Money. Uh, or Top 2, if that's easier, she asks. Uh, probably Cerberus and Nesferatu. Uh, Nesferatu. Oh, gosh, I forgot to get that one. It's the one book that Bear didn't get. Eh, for crying out loud. Still need to read Cerberus, but it looks great. That's going to go in the need to read pile. 
need to read pile. <clears throat> there used to be an RPG called Teenagers from Outer Space. I don't know. I, Earthbound really worked as kind of a sort of John Hughes, um, uh, 16 Candles, that sort of deal. Uh, uh, teenagers in high school um, uh, sort of deal along with a very deep um, uh, philosophical stuff as well. So really, really interesting, really interesting. Uh, they were... They were shooting people uh, with with guns, but the guns basically just uh, uh, turned that person's free will over to you. So you could basically, you know, make a whole bunch of people their slaves. So uh, they were trying to find somebody, and one of the guys was just shooting everybody and making them their slaves. The other the other guy was kind of going real stealthy and every, everything. So uh, interesting, very very interesting. There you go. Uh, Cerberus, Cerberus, rather, looks like a good one. It probably is. I just need to get into it. Just need to get into it. Alright, was there one more? Hold on. Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ha <laughs> But wait! There is more. There is more, because... That's the first book. That's the first one that started it all. And it's also... That's also a hardcover, so... Uh, let's see, is there any sketches or anything? Uh, nope. <gasps> yes! Yes, there was. Yes. Yes, there was! Look at there! Look at there. Ha <laughs> ha! So, uh... Let's see, did I have a second... Did I have a second Earthbound? Did I have a floppy? I forget. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no, oh, he did. I did. I've already given it to the library. So, yes, Earthbound is already in the library, uh, the, the floppy version. So, they've, they've got the first one. Uh, we'll, um, I, I need to find if I have another Earthbound 2 here, and that will, that will complete the selection. And by the way, as Beer says that, here's the second copy of Earthbound. So, there we go. There we go. Is there anything in there? Uh, ah, speaking of... Speaking of which, oh god, it's stuck to the card there, but uh, here's Nosferatu. Didn't get that one. Got the, got the Clint Stoker uh, vampire one, because he was like related to, related to the author there, so I thought that was pretty cool. No, I didn't get Nosferatu, uh, with, with Cawson's cover. Ah, oh, gosh darn it, so uh, yes, there we go. That one will go, man, the lo local library is getting quite a collection here. Collection. A narwhal sketchbook. Okay, alright. Probably don't need a narwhal sketchbook here. So there's that. And let's see. Ugh. Whoever whoever said, oh, I want to see narwhal probably didn't realize that Beer had so many copies. So many copies here. Uh, okay, so this is uh, Cerberus, Cave Slave, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you people have probably probably already seen some of that that we did uh, last week. I think it was last week. Go check it out. Uh, oh, I, I, I just got it up. Just got it up as the video there. So if you want to check out the box open, go ahead. Uh, and more more stuff, the interactivity. I, I'm just not taking it out of the box here. Too much too much work for beer. Uh, interactivity. Um, uh, what was the other one here? Uh, oh, the compendium. Compendium. And of course, of course, we were talking about uh, Cerberus as well. So once Bear, once Bear checks this out, this will one of these will go to the local library there. So there you go. I just need to read it. That's going into the going into the read pile. Going into the read pile over there. That pile's gonna get pretty big. It's gonna get huge, people. Huge. All right. Uh, here we are, Jeff. Yes. 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 Beer has a whole bunch more. This might be part one of part two or three here. Part one of part two, because the rest of it, uh, it's a little bit out of Beer's reach here. So let's see. Let, let's go back to the chat here. Let's go back, check out the chat. Beer's going to grab a, a drink o' beer and check out the chat. Ah, what you good people are saying. Let's see. Uh, probably Cerberus and Nesferatu. There we go. Uh, Cerberus looks like a good one. It sure does. Thumbs up. 
Uh, that's a cute sketch in that book. Which one, Amy? Which one? I had two sketches. Two sketches in a normal book. Uh, back, back, I tell you, back when um, people probably hadn't checked out um, the first Earthbound. You know, a lot of people didn't check out Earthbound until after it was uh, reviewed by uh, your boy Zach. Um, I don't remember how many people got uh, Earthbound, but it wasn't like a whole lot. Um, let's see, does he have a thanks? Um, oh, you had some <laughs> kind of interesting here. Some Doug Tenable, how dare he thank Doug Tenable of all people? Uh, anyways, a number of folks there uh, that he thanked. Indicron, Indicron. Wow, we haven't heard from them in a while. Oh, uh, where <laughs> people, people, people? Where do you see thanks of? Let's see if I can get this in frame here. Let's see if we can do it. Um, Ethan Van Skyver, John Malin, and Doug Tenable. <laughs> you don't see that very often. You don't see that very often. So, uh, yeah, not many people, I think, got the Earthbound book the first time around. Um, you know, after the fact, yeah, they, they went out and got the, got the second book here. But, um, yeah, probably not many of these with, with a, a sketch in there. Not many at all. Let's see, uh, did I miss an orange peanut reference? I'm not sure, Grant. I'm not sure. Maybe that's going on in the chat here. Let's see. Beer drinking again. Can beers get drunk? Oh, yes. Oh, we'll, we'll do it after the show here. Uh, well, we've seen what happens with cocaine. That's why beer stays away from the, the nose candy out there. That's true. That's true. You don't want to see a beer high on cocaine. No, sir. No, sir. All right. Well, anyways, people, that is uh, probably... God, I really should have taken a picture because this is probably part one of three. Part one of three. But let's go ahead. Let's just review some of it here. One second. Get this out of the way. Because this is the reason uh, for the season a uh, bear is using... Uh, using you you good people out here uh, to spend some time to figure out what we're going to do, what we're going to send out to the local library here. So let's go through it. Uh, oops. Uh, Earthbound number two. Uh, USA Assassin. I'll have to go through this one just to double check everything and make sure that uh, that's okay for the kitties out there. Graveyard Shift number three. They've got, if Bear remembers correctly, one signed. Oh my god. Uh, and, uh, I believe number two. I'll have to double check that. If not, man, we'll, we'll think about, <laughs> we'll think about number two. Beer needs to raise some funds here, so he might, might sell one of those. But the, anyways, that and also, um, oh, there's, it's two books in there. It's two books, so I can give one of those away. Uh, Star Blades, uh, from, um, Kyle Richer. The Richer out there. Look at that. That hasn't even been opened. Pretty cool. Might, might have to find the one that Bear opened here, but uh, there you go. There's Star Blades from Kyle Richter. That's the uh, colorist here for, for Uncle E. Well, <laughs> you could be the colorist. You could be the colorist because this is a coloring book. Coloring book. Uh, Jawbreakers uh, number two. Number two. If Bear remembers correctly. God King. I think that was number two. Isn't that the one where everybody dies? Uh, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I think that was the one where everybody died at the end. Uh, Impossible Stars. The one that uh, everybody hates the cover. Can we see it? Looking forward to number two. Looking forward to number two. Impossible Stars. There we go. Is this you? Is this you? If Bear can get it. If Bear can get it. Is this you? That's going out. Uh, not fiendish. That's beer's only copy. That's beer's only copy there. So uh, there we go. Look at there, people. That is a stack. That is a stack of books headed to the Lone. That's that's just part one of part three here, people. There's going to be more. There's going to be Lone Star 2 that's going out. 
um, a, a, a number of, of other ones as well. So um, get a little bit more organized, do a little bit better job uh, the next time. But uh, yeah, there we go, people. There we go. That's what Bear always recommends. Hey, if you're going to go ahead and get a book, you might as well get two books. Uh, share one out, uh, friends, family, you know, you might have uh, little ones, uh, nephews, or, you know, that uh, sort of stuff, nieces out there, you can check those out, give those to them. Or, like Beer does, just give it to a local library. We gotta spread, spread Comics Gate far and wide out there for people that uh, doesn't even know about it. Um, uh, Eric Huffles was down there at the, uh, at the convention, I uh, saw a number of people walk up to any of the comic skate uh, booths out there and you know hey uh, you know you you guys got a lot of people around you know what's what's going on with this book hey i've never seen this book before what's going on with that just the curiosity factor there so uh, yeah we we need to do our part here people we need to do our part not only uh, uh supporting the great artists out here but um you know, supporting your community as well, making sure some of that stuff gets out there. I mean, we've we've all seen all the you know drag queen story hour and all the crazy stuff that are in some of the some of the libraries these days. Well, time to counteract some of that stuff. You know, uh, if you think somebody has a bad idea, you come out with a better idea, and that's what that's what Comic Skate's all about, people. That's what it's all about. All right, let's see. Um. Uh, Earthbound bringing Dog and EVS back together. I don't think, uh, I, I don't think Narwhal and a whole gallon of whiskey would, uh, uh make that happen. I, uh, you never know. You never know. I have, haven't heard anything from Dog in, like, a year and a half, so I, I don't know what's going on with that, but there you go. I, I gave away, uh, um, what was his book? Um, not, not the Dirtworm Doug. Uh, what, what, what was it? Um, a Bigfoot Bill. Bigfoot Bill. Gave that one away. Gave that one away to the local library. I'm sure they were enjoyful about that. That's more of kind of the kids sort of deal with, with that. But, um, yeah, there we go. There we are. <clears throat> no, I don't, I don't think they'll bring them together. I'm just saying that's how old the Earthbound book was, was back when, you know, they were all kind of together, so. Very interesting. Not anymore. <clears throat> uh, yeah, when Thanos did snap his fingers, none of the Jawbreakers survived it. Yeah, that's why I don't know how they could have came out with number three, but whatever. Uh, whatever. <clears throat> that's the comic book cover version of the Red Solo Starbucks Christmas Cup. <laughs> I'm assuming the, um, uh, the, the, where was it here? The, the... Gosh, I'm trying to remember. Uh, Impossible Stars. You try to remember the name of it, it's not even on the it's not even on the cover there. It's just a giant just a giant No in space. No in space. Or impossible. Impossible stars, as it were. Yes it is. Uh let's see. Um <clears throat> Uh, let Timmy read your extra books. Hell no. <laughs> no. No. How dare he. Uh, he keeps missing uh, going. Uh, he keeps going missing in the mail somehow. That's true. Well, he should just order more. That's what, that's what Bear is encouraging. Come on, Timmy. Order more. Uh, we couldn't beat the nerds off with... What? 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 <laughs> we couldn't beat the nerds off with a stick. Wait, let me rephrase that, says Eric. Uh, Impossible uh, Stars cover um, reveals uh, Stealing Solo's back cover, which by the- hold on, hold on, let me- you ask about that. One second, let me go, let me go talk about your shelves. Let's see, where did I, where did I put that? Mm. Ah, here it is, here. Oof. Oof. So here we go. Here is, let me see it. There we go. Um, this one over here is the back cover for uh, Stealing Solo. Beer had a bunch of people sign it <laughs> at the Comic-Con out there. Uh, this is the one that they put out uh, after the fact. Um with the actual cover 
on the back. So, here it is. Haven't even opened it. It's an okay book. I mean, it's an interesting premise. Uh, I think more people talked about the, the back cover here and kind of what happened with it. Um, Bear made a video about it just saying that it was maybe secretly genius. Like, he did this, like, like you know, maybe the book was okay and he knew that. So, he's like, okay, I gotta find a way to, like, you know, promote this, like, some crazy way. So, it's like, let's just print a back cover and then, then everybody gets to talk about it online and everything. So, I don't know. Maybe it was secretly genius. You never know. You never, never know. <clears throat> Bear's back. I'm here. I'm here, but we're gonna head out in just a minute. But, um, yes, indeed. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, um, yeah, okay, I read that from VM, uh, Doug is busy, uh, daily on his In Exile video political channel. Okay, well, he can be in exile for, um, I, like Napoleon, uh, like Napoleon out there. Continue being in exile, Doug. Uh, Doug was getting banned off of YouTube for making pro-Trump videos last I heard of him. Uh, not just pro-Trump videos, but, like... If Bear remembers correctly, the whole QAnon, like, you know, hey, let's let's check out this pizza joint and blah, 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 blah. They really stole it. And, I mean, he was going like 110% because, like, YouTube was promoting it for some reason. I, I think that they were just trying to shake the tree and figure out who was, who was going to cause a ruckus. But, yeah, that, that, like, really blew up. And then, um, uh, and then it, like, a bunch of people got banned. So, uh... Yeah, yeah, that's that's what you get when you get into the political stuff. Beer, beer tries not to do too much of the political stuff out there. I know. Eh, it's not really uh, on brand, really. I mean, do you really want to hear Beer talk about, you know, oh, well, you know, the tax cut of this bill is, you know, not, not enough. It should be more of the tax cut. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <clears throat> yeah, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's the last that, that Beer heard about it, Eric, so. Don't know, don't care. Uh, he can have, he can have his own fun and keep our comics gate out of his mouth. <clears throat> uh, that's, by the way, I know there's some people out there that like Doug, and that's fine. Go right ahead, enjoy it, but understand that the comics gate community is pretty pissed, pissed at Doug out there. Just understand that. Order more books, Timmy. That's right. <clears throat> uh, Amy says, that's cool. I didn't know you could donate books to the libraries. Yes, you can. You can also get a tax rebate off of it, too, if you're really interested. Uh, let's see. Talk amongst ourselves, so we're fostering some orphan kitties. Ah, congratulations, Amy. Our, our poor kitty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, hold on. Let me, since you mentioned that, let me get off of this. Since you mentioned it, let me, let me pull it up here. Where is he? Our poor, our poor kitty. I went missing, went missing, and uh, we haven't seen him in a couple months. So he is um, hopefully out there in the wild uh, just doing kitty things and uh, being, being a ferocious cat. Because, uh, yeah, we, we ended up um, adopting some, uh, he, he was orphaned by his mother, orphaned by his mother, crying out, mew. He, he hardly ever, uh, we knew his dad. We knew his dad because he was kind of a neighborhood cat. He was a talkative cat. You know, meow, 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 meow. This one, he hardly ever, hardly ever meow. Except for maybe when he wanted something to eat or something. But, um, yeah, went missing about two months ago and, um, haven't, haven't seen him since. So, uh, hopefully the little guy's okay out there somewhere. Out in the woods. Out in the woods somewhere. Living his best life, you raised him to be strong, says Amy. That's right. We uh, tried to tried to raise him as a, a fierce cat out there. We kind of joked. Didn't know his, his uh, who his mother was. Knew, knew who his father was, but uh, we joked either it was either it was a Florida panther or a possum. We couldn't couldn't tell which out there. But there we go. Hopefully he's doing. <laughs> hopefully he's doing okay out there. All right. I I'm trying to bring. Sympathy or anything like that, just saw that on there, so. Yeah, the poor guy. We will, we will miss him. We will miss him. It's, it's internets and cats. You, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong whenever you have, having an internet show and you show some cats out there. 
A Doug had a pizza channel. No comments. We're not going there. Not going there. I, I want to hear how great, uh, hear Bear talk about how great NFTs are. Dang it, Jeff. Why, why do you always have to stir the pot? Always have to stir the pot here. Crying out loud. No, uh, let's see. What was the latest? Uh, Sam Bankman fraud. Uh, the FTX villa. Uh, well, where was he? Where is he here? He's, he's around here somewhere. Um, there we go. This fella uh, c completely uh, lost everybody's money. He's back in jail. He had like a $150 million bond and went back to jail because he's talking about his his dog ugly girlfriend out there. God, that, oh man, you could put that lady out in a field and she would scare away all the crows. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, anywho, anywho, that's all the all the crypto chat Bear wants to talk about here. I tell you. <clears throat> Everyone knows we're here for the crypto talk, says Amy. Urgh! Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. Uh, P Money says a bear and a cat having a conversation, probably fighting over salmon. It's true. It's true. Uh, Amy says, a, a cat raised by a bear, that's strong. That is, that is true. That is true. So hopefully, hopefully he is out there uh, taking on the woods. He, 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 he got what he needed from Bear, got all the food that he needed, and says, okay, I'm, I'm out of here. Kind of had a, uh, like an enclosed area. Kind of an enclosed area, and he'd always, he'd always, like, break through. Just tear through it and head out in the woods at night, you know, in the middle of the night, just go prowl at night. and Come in during the day and sleep it off, so... There you go. There you are. Well, people, thank you so much for sticking around. We got some good books here that we're going to take to the local library. Um, we might do uh, part two on Wednesday. Might do part two. Check that out. See what else uh, we might have here. Um, library books beat out everybody. Beat out everybody. 88%. So thank you for voting. Appreciate that. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> uh oh, uh, Grant says, Now, Bear, uh, we can't see into her heart. Uh, she might have been a beautiful person uh, who constantly tried to get uh, her boyfriend, Sam Bankman, to be a better person. I've got a bridge in New York to sell you, Grant. Bridge in New York. <laughs> Uh, taking on the woods and beating you most of the salmon. <laughs> Grr, gosh darn cat. Gosh darn it. Uh, I, I, I don't know, Eric. Uh, let's see. The last I saw, you said, oh no. I think. I think you said, oh no. So that's that's all I see, Eric. That's all I see. Um, oh, oh, you're talking about the poll. You're talking about the poll. So there we go. I was... Um, uh, starting the uh, show, we, we had a different ways to go. We could just do the normal, you know, talk about news stuff, or we could do the, you know, hey, let's let's do some uh, let's do some comics and talk about comics. So that's what the chat wanted. That's what the chat got. There we go. Well, Chris, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. I hope you come back. We we do this every Wednesday and Saturday about the same time, about eight o'clock or so. A uh, whole smorgasbord of stuff that we try to talk about. Uh, everything from uh, campaign uh, campaigns, um, um, uh, updates and reviews. Uh, we talk about our comic books. We talk about some Hollywood stuff. We talk about beer stuff. Uh, you never know. You never know. It's kind of a little bit of a variety show, but we just try to have fun out here. Just try to have fun. So thank you, sir. Thank you, and hope you come back. We do appreciate it. We do appreciate it. Uh, top chat doesn't, uh, show all the posts. Oh, okay, that's, oh, okay. Oh, so I've got it on, okay, my bad. I see, I see, I see, I see. Right. Um, there it goes. Okay, huh. It must have switched on beer. I don't know, I don't know why it did that. I don't know why it did that. I don't know, OBS, YouTube, yada, 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 crazy stuff. Crazy stuff out there. Thank you, VM. Appreciate that. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Got the error messages again. Ah, oh, gosh darn it, Eric. Well, I do appreciate your 
mod extraordinaire out there. He is a great mod, not only on this channel, but many other ones out there. So if you happen to see Eric in the chats on one of the other channels, just make sure you give him a wave and a thank you. Uh, that happens sometimes. I think YouTube likes to drop stuff. That's true. That's true. All right, well, let's go ahead and just uh, head it off at the pass here before we have any more issues. Did some great stuff here. Had some great books that Bear still needs to check out, and Bear's going to give away to local libraries. So, uh, hope to do it again on Wednesday. We got a number of other books to kind of go through as well. We're getting organized and getting ready to go to the library, especially right in time for uh, school time here. School time. So, uh, there we go. Um, <clears throat> P-Mike says he didn't hit the like button. How dare you, sir? How dare you? <laughs> I no problem, Eric. Great, great, uh, great chatting with you, and great to have you here. Great to have you here. But you know what? You know what, people? All of this talk, all this talk, and drinking the beer here—it's making Bear hungry. So he's gonna head back into the woods. So until next time. Grrr.